take momentum, take control late in the second period. Was that, you know, it seemed like you guys were able to get people behind their defensemen pretty consistently? Well, Tony made some great outlet plays. Um, first off, I thought uh, Carter, first period, third period, uh, was just terrific. Uh, made some great saves at the end of the game when we decide to just stick Handel into a corner instead of ending the game. Um, those minutes, uh, as far as getting three in a row, obviously is the difference. John, with the way this game started, them getting the early goal, taking the penalty, all those shots, this game could have gotten out of hand quickly. Was it, in your estimation, just Carter keeping you guys in? Yeah, we, the, the, we're giving up too many chances on the power play. That's where they, they rack up their shots, uh, although we had a huge kill. Uh, although I know they scored one second left, but to get out of that two man uh, with just one goal and not them scoring early and then they still have a power play was really important. Uh, Carter made some terrific saves with the penalty kill. Uh, uh, and then we answered. They don't score another one, we answered. That, that's the, at least in that sequence of the game early on, that was important for us to get going because it looked like we were, uh, we just looked a little lackadaisical. Getting scored on that early threw us. Um, so, uh, big saves, and then we come back and score a goal was important. You mentioned previously that you already know that you guys are making the playoffs, but is this a lot of time for younger guys? Forster had two assists, Samoa had two assists, Frost had two points. Is those kind of the benefits of what you're looking for over these last 13 games, especially against a playoff, almost playoff team? Yeah, they're, they're, the younger guys are being put in much, many more positions uh, uh, to see what they can do. Uh, I thought Z... Uh, I'm not sure what his, how assists come about, but just watching his game, I thought he had some really good puck poise. Uh, Tyson continues to impress. Block shot at the end, huge block shot. Uh, not turning pucks over on our end when he's getting pinched. He, he's done some real, other than, uh, you know, you can see his offensive skill, but the other parts of the game, uh, he's, it's been impressive. So. Um, we have the power play with all the young kids on it, along with Tony. Um, so they're getting their opportunities, and a number of them are, are playing very well. The results from the defensemen tonight, all below the dots, two right at the net. Is that something you need to see from these guys moving forward here? Just you want them up in the play? You want them being aggressive? Oh, especially with Sani. Sani was uh, the past couple of games, uh, more the, the third period of the last game and brought it into tonight, uh, was more aggressive up the ice. Um, still working on Yorkie to do it more consistently. Yor Yorkie, Yorkie had some chances that were blocked. That's something uh, I, I think he's got to make quicker decisions as far as getting pucks off. He had some opportunities tonight. They were blocked. But we, we continue to talk about it all the time as far as, uh, as, far as joining and staying in it. Um, so keep on trying. John, you mentioned uh, Forrester and how you you eventually want to get him back to the Phantom for their playoff race. Is he making the decision pretty tough for you? No, no, because it, it, it's, it's too important. Um, it, it, it's, such a, it, it's such a great process if they do win some rounds down there for him to go there and go through that. that, that that's very important in his development. John, I don't know what you knew about Brendan Lemieux before you got him to trade, but uh, has he opened your eyes a little bit the way he's played? He, he's given us some good minutes. Uh, still has some things to learn uh, as far as coverages and, and stuff like that, but uh, he brings some energy. Uh, I think it's important w with a team, uh, you know, out of it, uh, to to, when some new energy came in into the team, I think he's brought that, made some good plays. Uh, yeah, so, and, and that's why he's getting his ice time. He's played well. He's in front of the net. He's going to the to the areas where he should be. Uh, he's getting some puck luck off his hip tonight. Uh, I don't know why either one of those guys just don't throw it in the net to make it 6-3. Uh, uh, I just don't know why. Um, but Joel's playing better, and uh, he's being rewarded. He's in. Uh, there's a little bit of chemistry there with, with that line right now, um, and he's getting rewarded, getting him put in some really, uh, really good spots to try to prove himself. How big was your forecheck in the tournament? Not just the goal, but like in the sequence of the Sandheim's first 
Yeah, yeah, for, for not the whole period, for, uh, you know, like six or seven minutes there, I thought we forechecked well. Um, end up, uh, uh, you know, bang, 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 uh, where I, we really didn't have control of the game at that time. It's 2-2. But I just felt the whole night that we were teetering as far as what was going to happen. Um, and, and we just kind of, you know, we make some good plays. And it ended up being, that team scores a lot of goals, but they'll give up some too. And a uh, big part of our whole talk was trying to get them to play in their own end zone because they're a dangerous team in the other end. So we found a way to score some goals and we made it interesting, but we got through it. When we, uh, when we talked to, to Danny a couple of Sundays ago, he basically said that we're going to be rebuilding, but we don't need to tear it down to the studs. That's not the plan. Mm -hmm. When you watch a game like this where so many young guys contribute, so many young guys are part of it, does that reassure you that there are foundational pieces here that you guys can, can build from? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it – I think everybody thinks this season has been lost. We knew there was going to be pain this year. Uh, I, I respect our club. We stayed in it, competing uh, up to the break there, I think 50 games. I think we finally got to 500 before the break. I think that's what it was. Losing TK kicked the crap out of us. It's such a, it was such a catalyst for us, and we haven't found ourselves since. Past few games, we're beginning to score some goals. But having, I, I know, no one likes being out like we are. But as an organization and, and, and coaches and management, we have to look at what's gone on within the season, forgetting about looking at the record. There has been some great development of our young guys. Some, our young guys have, uh, have done some really good things. Not all of them, but a, you know, a number of them that we consider, just what you're saying, the beginning of this new foundation of this team. And, and I've said it right from the get-go, and I'm not trying to overstep my bounds. I, I, I have a really good idea who the young guys are, that, that are going to start this foundation. But then we got to make some room around them. we got to make other spots available. And that's where the subtraction comes in. And it's not, a, it's not a criticism of the people that we end up subtracting. It's just how you do it. And it's not getting all draft picks, all assets, and trading. It. We, we, we're beginning to build a foundation. It's really encouraging to me. And I've said it many times with this kid, Tyson. Uh, you know. I, I try to, I'm, I'm trying to be careful, but each time I watch him, I say, man, it, it, there's a guy, there's another piece that maybe that falls into place next year for us. So that's how you go about it. And then you backfill, not the big names, you backfill with some other veteran guys that can help us stay competitive as we keep on growing our kids.